everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Yes, I'm a little stuffy. All is good. I just sound a little weird. <laughs> so we're going to be doing our weekly angelic messaging for the week beginning June 5th, 2023. Of course, these are timeless. You feel free to go back and watch this one, any of the videos I have up on YouTube. See how those messages, you know, resonate for you now. I do want to give a quick update here. Again, I'm recording this on June 5th. Uh, I can get live reading sessions in tomorrow if you don't mind the sound of lawnmowers in the background. So <laughs> if that's not a big deal to you and you want to book a live session with me uh, for as soon as tomorrow, email me for live sessions. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I'm going to be flat out with you. Those cost more than the standard readings. They are $130 per 30 minutes. If that sounds like a lot of money, well, here's the deal. If somebody shows up and you have your questions prepared, we can get really in-depth in 30 minutes. If you are somebody who just wants someone to talk to or something like that, then obviously, you know, giving you a chance to talk, there's going to be less angelic messaging. It's just up to you. It's, it's what, you know what you feel is right for you. And then, of course, you know, that's done via Zoom. Uh, payment for that, I've been doing PayPal. So you would just send for how much time you want um, to angelsouls at 444, wait, no, <laughs> angelsouls444 at gmail.com to PayPal, and then we'll work on a date and time. I am in mountain time, so please keep that in mind. Now, for standard readings, I am still running ahead of schedule on those, uh, those are not needing to be scheduled. I just do the reading for you. I send it to you via email. One of the things that I always have to address here and there, please make sure you read everything on my website. That's through my website. Standard readings are through my website, angelsouls444.com. Again, running ahead of schedule. But when people don't read that, they somehow go past all the information to find my email address to email me and ask, is this an MP3? Is, you know, when will I get it? In the description, it tells you everything that you need to know. And it also says, please do not keep reaching out ahead of the, you know, timeline. Because that's, you know, taking up time. I have to stop everything I'm doing to go look it up to see where you're landing. And if you just put in your request and you didn't read, you feel me? So please be respectful and read for the standard readings. And also please be respectful of time on the live readings. If you go over, I will bill you, okay? There it is. All right, so <laughs> there's that. Also, make sure you're watching the community tab on my YouTube uh, channel because I have lots of cool things coming out. If you don't know, I just released a bunch of journals. I don't know if you guys are obsessed with journals like I am, but I've been having a blast with those. Links will be in the description box, or you can just search Angel Souls Journal on Amazon, okay? All right. So the message that first and foremost came out for this week is learning how to integrate our spiritual understandings into our day-to-day -day lives. And this feels very much like where a lot of us are getting hung up. Um, you know, I was getting the message that a lot of people, how do I want to say this? Like spirituality might still seem like it's super trendy, whatever, but it's losing its steam here a little bit. Why would that be? Because people weren't really committed to it. It wasn't something that they really, there was a fascination there, right? They're coming off of the spiritual high. And now the work kicks in. And if you didn't learn what you need to learn on a deep level, you're not going to know how to apply it. And the shallow approaches, there's, there are little friends out there, <laughs> the little birds. Um, you know, if you if you took a shallow approach to it, and it's just not dazzling you anymore, well, then you're not going to know how to use it. Does that make sense? So, you know, if you need to take a break, not every day has to be hard-hitting, in-depth spiritual work. I mean, but you can make time to meditate, to clear your energy field. We're going to need that, okay? We're going to need that. So, first card out here we have, and I'm using the Archangel Michael deck, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. See, I was just saying, <laughs> I love this. Uh, and I love using this deck because it's very powerful. But 
it's time to leave this unhealthy situation, looking around, seeing what's not working, what's falling apart. Now, a lot of us may not know what the next step is. I just glanced over right at 555 on the camera. That's the number of change. So we may not know exactly how to implement the next steps, but this is where we go back to what we've learned, okay? So even if you were like, well, I was just kind of getting to know spirituality and now I feel a little stuck about how to integrate it, how to implement what I've learned. That's why readings are very helpful. You can work one-on-one -on -one with someone, whether you want to do an angelic reading or if you want to do a tarot reading. Remember, that'll stay in fourth dimensional energy. Um, so if that's good for you, great. Um, astrology, there's Vedic astrology, Western astrology, whatever you want, psychic reading, whatever you want to do, just make sure you're with somebody who is ethical. Okay, so now is the time where you're going back and realizing this is how the universe has been speaking to me. This is what I'm being shown about myself. And for a lot of people, this is going to be a change maybe or a challenge around your identity. If you always identified in this, that, you know, whatever way with your career, you know, I'm a small town person. Maybe now you want to explore a bigger city. You know, it's that kind of thing. So the card says, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Please hear me when I say it's now, now you're taking your spiritual know-how, okay? I keep using the word integrating and you're applying it to areas of your life. Now, this isn't to uh, sort of manipulate the energy to get what you want. It's not that. It's looking at, oh my gosh, I've been working so hard towards this and limiting myself in this way when I could just get out there and make my project happen or make my dreams happen, okay? All right, so thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. Now, healthy changes have to do also, I'm hearing, with how we interact with others, um, having some empathy, not just coming at life through your lens. Now, I know a lot of you who are watching this, you already know that, but maybe this is having to have a little compassion for people who quite aren't seeing your side of things. And I know it's very easy for us, I, I'm guilty of this too, of judging that person and saying, gosh, you know, how, how rude that you can't see my side of things. But there's this interesting energy that's happening where it's like you have this innate understanding of they are where they are, they're doing the best that they can. And, you know, I have to make a decision, depending on the situation, about what to do, okay? I'm going to hit pause here just for a second. I, I have to take care of my face. <laughs> Hold on one second. Much better, I think. All right, let's get this next one here. Yeah, it's a messy time, so get comfortable with it being messy. It's not a bad messy. It's a, it is what it is messy, <laughs> right? So everything's kind of in pieces because... Um, there's, there's a deep cleaning to be done there. Okay. And we won't be able to do that until we move a few things around. Right. Okay. Be gentle with yourself. Yes. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love and everything I think, speak and do help me know that I deserve this compassion. Remember I said, we don't always have to go hard on, you know, the deep soul work. <laughs> like we could just have like a relaxing meditation as well. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. This is beautiful. And I was saying at the, be the beginning of this video, I'm creating these journals. Why did I do that? Well, because I love journals. Literally, I'm a writer. I'm a spiritual practitioner. I go through them like I go through candles. Okay, like <laughs> it's a lot. But journals can be very effective when you use them as dream journals. I specifically have a dream journal out. I have more to come. Um... But also just when you're meditating, coming out and just writing down pen to paper. That's Archangel Gabriel always tells us. Pen to paper. There's something that happens for us in our minds, right? When we go through that activity. And not only that, as you well know, with any kind of journaling, you can see the pattern that is forming. So make sure if you're doing... So again, you don't have to do this like hard spiritual... I mean, unless you feel like it's right for you at this time, like a deep dive. But maybe... You know, when you do these gentle meditations, you come out and you write it down and say, uh, for the first time, I feel like I can breathe. Or for the first time, I feel like everything's going to be all right. You see what I'm saying? So it doesn't have to be my journals. Just find a journal, okay? <laughs> and, and make sure you are 
putting some things down for you to examine later on when you're ready for it. Okay, so ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. One of the things that keeps happening, we keep getting hit financially, right? With the economy, housing is a wreck. Here in the United States, especially our food supply, my shirt keeps creeping backwards. I don't know. I don't know where she's going. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but you know, our food supply is wonky and things that everything that we surround ourselves with, we're discovering there's toxicity in the air. So we all kind of get into this, you know, I'm going to clam up and wait until it's over, or I'm going to get out there and fight, but I'm going to be closing down in other ways. So asking Archangel Michael to come in and help you get clarity around this, or if it's something that you need to take steps towards asking for Archangel Michael's help, basically he's going to clear away all of that where you thought was bravery, but really it was fear, okay? So anytime someone starts locking down, for example, uh, during recessions, things like that, or any kind of financial scare, I still make sure that I am generous with others. I, I make sure of it. Because when we all clamp down and we're not doing a fair exchange of energy, then, well, first of all, you're building karma <laughs> for one. But, you know, secondarily, like we, we want to be a support to one another. Okay. So I will still, if I need to buy something anyway, I'll try to find a small business. If it's a tipping type situation here in the United States, if you're watching from other places in the world, we have a tipping culture. Um, I will make sure that I tip, you know, above what's expected. And even more if they were extra kind. I love kindness. I love people, you know, not victimizing themselves because they have to work. You know, <laughs> I will show up for others in that way. So I want to put this out there because Archangel Michael He's saying that the approach that a lot of us are taking is out of fear. It's completely out of fear. And that then has this ripple effect and it starts to affect others. I know plenty of freelancers, as soon as there's talk of anything going on in the world financially, they're the last ones to get paid. And these are designers, writers, people who have already done the work. But because someone's like, well, we don't know what's going on with the economy, so we can't pay you right now. It's going to take a little while. Right. So keep that in mind. Don't give in to that narrative where then we start in a way kind of turning against each other and not cooperating with each other, not supporting one another. OK, so this is Archangel Michael. Thank you for your excuse me. Thank you for assisting me with your situation. You can describe your situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. All right. So this is asking us take a beat. Take a moment, reevaluate how are we treating others? How are we treating ourselves? As always, right? <laughs> Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. I, uh, Archangel Michael, well, it doesn't say that. It just says, uh, I ask that you help me let go of self blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others or situations out in the world, okay? Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. That's the big thing here. It's saying, we're, we're again, we're taking the wrong approach. Um, we're beating ourselves up. You know, especially, I, I keep feeling the thing about finances. I'm experiencing it too. Um, relationships, that's a big one. Uh, I've had, you know, lots of uh, interactions with people where there's this guilt for not being what somebody wants them to be. Or there is, you know, there's the opposite side too. Anger towards another for not showing up in the way that we think they should. This is saying all that needs to be remedied now. We need to look at that. Okay. Let's get the color cards. I was going to do the crystal cards, but let's do the color cards. And then I will break this down into three groups. So if you're not watching, well, obviously you would be if <laughs> you're here. Hi, thanks for hanging in there. Um, this is a part of your message as well. And then you can choose the groups. Uh, I try to remember to put the timestamps in the description box on occasion. I'm still not used to this format. So sometimes I put them up there and I'm in like my mode and I forget. But someone is always gracious enough to put in the timestamps. <laughs> So either be in the comments or in the description box. There's our card. 
Emerald, Heart Space, Archangel Raphael. Take this time to let your spiritual practices catch up with you. See where there are some gaps. Fill them in with light, okay? Emerald, calm your mind, body, and soul. The number is 30. It's so funny because, you know, I, as I always say with these videos, I usually get primed for the message as I'm getting ready to sit down and do it. And they were saying, you know, people need a break. People need a break. If you have been um, maybe not interacting with others the way you usually do, give yourself a break, okay? <laughs> give yourself a break. If you're late on bills, guess what? The kind of work that I do, the conversations I've had, everyone's late on their bills right now. Cost of living has skyrocketed. We're not getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Like there are all these things that are just hitting us left, right, and center. It's okay. Give yourself a break, right? There are going to be these financial people out there. They're going to try to make you feel guilty and tell you, oh, you should have... Well, they like to live a pre-prescribed life, most of them, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's not everybody, right? So give yourself a little grace here, all right? And this emerald card, calming your body, mind, and soul, opening your heart space, allowing that compassion to come in and envelop you, all right? Then you can let the problems be a day two thing, okay? <laughs> give your heart a break for now. So that's it for this portion of it. We're going to get on to the groups. group one let's see what is going on for all of you if you did not go back and watch the first part of the video you missed half of your message so it's the base message right and then you can choose groups you can listen to all of them maybe sometimes you know one group is like okay that feels stronger than secondarily this group you know you can do it any way you like and I would encourage you to come back and listen you know at the end of the week as well where is this hair that's in my lip gloss okay <laughs> Got it. Probably just smeared my lip gloss, oh, gloss across my cheek, but it's cool, whatever. So we have believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. So this is addressing some fears that you've been having, concerns, not sure what the future holds. Am I going to be okay? Am I doing the right thing? What am I meant for? There's a lot of that in the collective energy, right? And so we're going to be picking up on it either from the collective or we're contributing that to the collective. Oh, we had this one in the general too. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So there's a whole lot of, uh, just, it's, it almost has this feeling of stop the noise. Stop the noise. This is very much pertaining to scapegoats out there or people who, if you've experienced a lot of abuse, God forbid, and then people gaslight you and say, oh, I bet that never happened. Oh, you're making that up to get, you know, attention. Oh, you know what I mean? And it's unfortunate because there are people out there who do that, <laughs> who pretend that things happen to them just to get you know, attention. So as you're figuring all this out, as you're seeing where your fears are coming from, because there's going to be some examination around that, uh, relieve your heart. Okay. Relieve your heart. Pay attention to your dreams. There's a lot about dreams here. Okay. Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful 
night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this situation, name your situation, on a spiritual level and give me guidance, right? So this is saying you don't have to do everything on your own, right? You can lean on the angels a little bit more. And I understand the energy here because it's sort of like, you know, our attentions are getting pulled towards third dimensional immediate things that need our immediate attention, right? So it's a little hard to just like go, okay, but maybe real positive about that wrecking ball that's right outside my house. You know, like we have to, we have to learn how to balance both, right? And have consideration for both. All right. Then we have, I am shedding. Okay. <laughs> Use your imagination and you'll see the answer. Dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help in this situation. You can describe the situation. So what's happening here, if you pick this group, first of all, <laughs> your dreams are very active or they're, and even if you can't remember your dreams, that's okay. They're imprinted in you. So you will have a feeling when you wake up, perhaps. Just be aware of it, all right? But there is a way that you've been going after a situation that isn't serving you. That's not serving you. Uh, so let's say you look for a job and you're pushing, pushing, pushing in this one field, but maybe you're supposed to work for yourself or vice versa. Maybe you've been struggling with saying about freelancers not getting paid. Um, people are taking advantage of gig workers. If, if that's the case, well, maybe you go, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm tired of begging for my pay for work that I've already done. Let me get a job, you know, and I can enjoy this. So whatever it is, you're exploring that right now. Be open to possibilities. Silver, be persistent. The number is 27. Reduces to nine. This is saying definitely hang in there. Uh, give your heart a break here. Solutions are coming. They're just going to be in a different way than you had anticipated. So hang in there. Nine is saying that you are completing a lesson. You are completing a cycle. So give that some time uh, and some room. To allow that to happen. So don't force a conclusion this week. Okay. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. And move on to group two. Hi there group two. Let's see what is going on for you. If you did not watch the first part of this video. That's the other half of your message. Okay. So <laughs> go back and watch that. Make sure you're getting all of it. And feel free to go back and watch this towards the end of the week. You might choose different groups. But also just to see how things played out for you. A favorable outcome. Oh, yes, group two. Because you're balancing. You're balancing. I love it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, to, I'm like looking at the imagery here, but balancing is what it means. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to the situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. That's the important part. When we're just thinking about ourselves and what we want, you're going to get backlash energetically for that. Okay. The universe is trying to show you how to balance. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. Things are going to be working out. This is a temporary situation. We always have those as human beings, right? And things will turn out in the highest good of everyone involved. Put that intention out there. I can't even begin to describe how often I've seen people be very selfish in what they're trying to manifest. They don't care if it's going to affect others. They don't care. You know what I mean? And like, that's not, <laughs> that's not it. And things will fall apart for you, you know? Okay. Not that group two would be doing that, but I'm just saying. New beginnings and a fresh start. I want group two. My nose is itchy, guys. I have a cold. You feel bad for me? <laughs> That's not why I was saying it. That's not why I was saying it. Just because you're like, Michelle, why is your face weird? That's why. Um, <laughs> thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. That's, that's important. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. So there, you're in the unloading <laughs> phase. So once you unload something, you got to unpack it and do all of that. So that's later on. For right now, you have this favorable outcome. It feels like there are new beginnings. Not everything is solidified just yet. So again, that's asking for a little bit of patience around that. But things are happening. Things are happening. Now, how do you know if you're having an ego response or if it's truly on your path? 
to have this new beginning. When your brain is flipping through the details and you're starting to get aggravated when things are not happening as fast as you want them to, that's ego, okay? Um, when you are in a control state, when you feel like powerful and, you know, that's ego. When you know it's a part of your path, there is this peace, there's this acceptance, there's a lot of gratitude, and if things don't start working out the way you want, you get excited. Oh, well, if that wasn't it, I wonder what else the universe has in store for me. If that wasn't it, I bet there's something better coming. That's how you know. That's that soul energy coming through. Make a commitment, Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So, making a commitment to listening to your soul and not trying to over control things out of fear or anger or anything like that, but saying, okay, I open up to the good things the universe has for me. Yeah, they're coming through here and giving clarification on this. They're saying that make that commitment is, <laughs> I'm guilty of this. If you're somebody who just likes to experience life and you like to experience little things here and there, you may not be committing to a path because it feels like you're kind of getting locked down or if I commit to a town, if I buy a house, then that's a commitment, right? Or um, it might be getting married or just committing otherwise to another person or to a job assignment or something. So examine that for those of you who chose this group. Do you have a hard time seeing something as permanent, right? Does that make you feel trapped? Some of you, not all of you, but some of you may have that. Innocence, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. They're telling me that this is referring to that sense of um, I'm in the flow of this. I can accept if things are not turning out exactly the way I thought or if they're taking longer, that stuff I was talking about. Is it coming from ego or is it on your soul's path? Tapping into this energy is tapping into soul light and taking an ease with with all of this. Like not pushing, not stamping your feet and saying, you know, why can't people just see how great I am or whatever, right? So new beginnings, there are wonderful surprises for you. But, <laughs> but I think what would get in the way is like a fear of missing out uh, you know, fear of messing it up and therefore like trying to contrive the outcome or, you know what I'm saying? Like push it. Don't need to do that. Okay. That's going to come to you. Now, when you are inspired to take action on something, that's when you do it. But the whole, I'm panicking and I'm doing this out of panic. That ain't it. I hope that makes sense. Oh, uh, so we have lavender connect to body, mind and soul. The number is 44. If this isn't, Hey, take a beat. Connect with your angels. 44 is connected with your angels. Um, if we reduce that to eight, that's abundance, right? So the angels are saying, hey, you're trying too hard. It's about surrender. You know, have you ever been trying to make something happen and it's just not happening? And you finally give up you say, well, I've done everything I can. If it's not going to work at this point, I don't even care. And then you just kind of like relax and you're just kind of getting on with your life. And then stuff starts moving. That's your message, okay? So some of you have to surrender. That doesn't mean giving up. It doesn't mean getting lazy. It doesn't mean you wait for opportunity to knock on your door. But in that quieter place, you can hear when to take action. You can hear what type of action, okay? So take that with you. We're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group three. Hi there, group three. Let's see what is going on for you. If you didn't watch the first part of this video, that's the other half of your message and I would encourage you to watch this at the end of the week as well. Maybe you'll pick other groups or you can make a note of what you chose to see how it played out for you. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 there's one sticking right out here. Okay. Make a commitment. This came up for another group as well. Archangel Michael as the angel of courage and confidence. I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. For you guys, this is feeling like influences keep you from committing. 
So if you've ever been, let's say you work for a corporation and maybe it's a toxic environment and you're thinking about going out and working for yourself, but everybody's telling you how you can't do that. And like you're crazy for wanting to do that. This is saying, know yourself, commit to yourself, know what's right for you. And with the other group, there was the message coming up about how sometimes we don't want to be locked into a situation or we have a fear of commitment. Uh, people ask me all the time, do you have any tattoos? No, I don't want to commit to that. <laughs> and it hurts. It looks like it hurts. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't have that. Or if you're somebody who, you know, I've liked to live different places. It's been hard to kind of commit to a place or to a job, you know, whatever it is. Look at that this week and see where you land, okay? Spend more time outdoors. This is very Archangel Ariel. This is detoxification, decompressing, okay? Getting back in touch with the earth. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Relax is the big key word <laughs> there. Like, you can't really commit to stuff if you're not quieting your mind enough to understand what it all entails, Right? It, this is a time of gathering information, uh, watching how things are playing out. You know, I always want people to be aware of what's going on in the world, but obviously we can't go overboard with that. We can't start, you know, obsessively watching the news and doing all of that. Again, it, it comes down to being balanced. Okay? All right. Go forward fearlessly. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand. I'm going to interrupt this here. It just feels like everything's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I know it's tough right now, but it's going to be all right. <laughs> you'll, you'll figure it out, okay? Uh, so for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. So as things fall apart, that is the universe's way of saying it needs to be deconstructed, examined, and then you decide how you want to go forward from there. But when we, they're giving me the image of like having a poison bottle and it's encapsulated in this beautiful structure, right? And everyone, you know, maybe just kind of responding to the beauty of the structure, not knowing what it contains. So by breaking things down or watching as things crumble, if you were watching this beautiful structure crumble down, you might be like, Oh, this is horrifying. And then you realize there's the poison bottle that has been uh, putting things into the air and harming everyone. And now we know what it is. That was an unpleasant discovery. But now we have the solution. It's like that. Do you like how I can beat a metaphor into the ground? <laughs> or an analogy? Uh, yeah, so there's that. But once you get to the bottom of it, for some of you, this might be a wound, a deeper wound that you suddenly go, oh my gosh, there it is. And now, even though it might be unpleasant to go work on that with someone, you know, you can definitely do that. New beginnings and a fresh start. This came up for another group as well. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. You know, things are not going to go according to plan. Why does this feel like, okay, so this reading has been heavily around finances. I feel the energy of that. I'm experiencing it too. There's a lot in the news about it. Everyone's buzzing about it. The plans are not working out. So we're going to discover, I have to say this, I'm not a financial planner. I'm not an expert in that field. Please check with an expert. But there's something around this that we're discovering. We've been, always been told that owning your own house is an asset. Well, maybe we're realizing, no, it's not. <laughs> Actually, it's not. Um, it's a liability. Or uh, we discover that that 401k or that IRA that we were going to retire on, it wasn't as fruitful as we thought. Or this narrative of, you know, here are the rules, you follow them, you'll have a great outcome. And we're realizing, no. That path helped some people and it cost others. So, again, realizing what's really at the root of what's going on. And no, you're not going to be the big world, you know, forward thinker who 
uncover some massive conspiracy theory and then you go down in history as having saved the world. Let's let that go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing, but I bet your energy is needed elsewhere. So, yeah. But definitely you're getting to how you respond to things. So we have Tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. The number is 17, reduces to eight. Eight is abundant. So it's in the flow. It's in the joy. It's giving yourself a chance to relax, to reconnect, decompress. I said that before. Um, just allowing yourself to say, okay, if I'm stressed about this and there's nothing I can do about it right now, let me go off and relieve my nerves, <laughs> right? Like, go have some fun. But really, being in joy, laughing, being in that frequency really helps with manifestation. So keep that in mind as well, all right? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.